All right, before we start this video off, uh, this video was actually shot about two and a half weeks ago, and it's probably one of the only Gear Seekers videos that we didn't complete. Now, there's a few reasons why we didn't actually finish this video. The main reason is the 3090 ROG Strix GPU we had to rotate out to someone else. It is coming back eventually, but we couldn't really hold up that NR200 system in the meantime, and we didn't have any time to thermally test all of these GPUs. So instead of us putting out a, let's say a half-baked video, we decided that we wouldn't do it at all. However, when I was reviewing the footage, I actually found that there was some really interesting stuff that might answer some questions that we've been getting in the comments. Before someone says something like, oh, I don't understand the point of this video if it's not finished, the point is, it shows you to how to fit these 30 series GPUs inside the Cooler Master NR200 because we have been getting asked a lot about it. So there is some useful information in this video and I didn't really want to hold out on you guys on stuff that you might actually be able to use if you're trying to build in these cases. So without further ado, let's rewind to two and a half weeks ago, Nick, and uh, see what the story is. Seekers, I'm Nick. We've had a lot of comments over the last few weeks about what GPUs will fit in the Cooler Master NR200. And I actually promised that I wasn't gonna do any more videos with this case, but the amount of comments has been, to, to be honest, pretty overwhelming. So I decided that we would give it a crack with the only 330 series GPUs we have on hand at the moment. The MSI Gaming X Trio 3080, the ROG Strix 3090 from ASUS and the 3090 Founders Edition. So let's see what fits and if it does fit, we'll do some thermal testing and find out, yeah, basically what goes inside the case. So let's get right into it. Let's get the 2080 Ti that we had out of this system so we can see what will physically fit in here. But yeah, I, like I, I mentioned previously, I do need to remove the lower fans in the case because it's just not going to fit otherwise. Alrighty, let's start off with probably the biggest of the three of these GPUs, the ASUS card. This thing is actually bigger than the Founders card. So let's see if this 3090 fits in this case. It looks somewhat promising just by eyeballing it. It might take a little bit of massaging, but I think, oh, you see? <laughs> now, if we were to be super creative to make this fit, we could probably take off the front panel, like the front panel and the front screws and the front support. So uh, it will fit. So let's let's uh, maybe disassemble the case a little bit to see if this is going to work. This might be the only way to get it to work if you were to go down this route because straight from the side, it's not going to fit. Alrighty, after a little bit of massaging, I got the Strix card to fit. Basically what I had to do is, if you look, this is the bottom of the case. You need to remove the two cross braces from the bottom, so you have a little bit of flex. And with a bit of luck, you can actually feed the card in, flex the case a little bit, and then you can slot the card into the slot. So does it fit? The answer is it will actually fit. There we go. Let's try and fit the other GPUs in because I suspect this will be the way to do it going forward. So while we've got it apart, let's test these other two. 
The Founders one will be a little bit more tricky, especially with cable management and the fan on the top of the GPU. However, it should fit if you, if you think about your cable management. The other thing with this card is it is, takes up a full three slot, so you will need to remove the third bracket on this case. So we'll just quickly pop that out, but let's see. So with the same technique, and the same amount of massaging, it does also fit in as well. So the Founders card fits, no problem. The, the other thing, like I, I mentioned previously, is the cable management on the other side of the card, which I'll, I'll show in another clip after this, that you actually need to be aware of that, but you can physically make it fit. The only other problem you might encounter is, particularly with the Founders card, is the power connector coming out on an angle and the side panel being able to close, but I don't see that being a massive issue because you can just run it across just like that. Okay. Last but not least, the wider of the cards, let's try the MSI card while we've got this all apart like this. And the 3080 Gaming X Trio, this card's a lot wider than the other ones, but with a bit of luck. Okay, this one also does fit too. Right, cool. So that's that's really the, the crux of this video is whether or not these GPUs can fit. The answer is most definitely they can, uh, but you will need to remove these bottom brackets. And the other question that we're most definitely going to get is can you mount fans on the bottom panel? Uh, even the 12 millimeter fans will not fit here. So yeah, that's the that's the, the real answer. You can go ahead and deshroud your GPU if you want to waste some time. I don't recommend doing that. Uh, yeah, but it does actually fit. I hope you guys uh, found some useful information in that much shorter than usual video. And like I said in the intro, the reason why I wanted to put this out was because there is some valuable information in there and I didn't want to like keep that from you guys. And we have been getting a lot of questions about it in Discord and I had already filmed how to do it. So it would just make sense if I put out a video on what we had done. Because the original plan was to thermally test all the GPUs and see how they would perform. But again, we ran out of time because we had to move on that GPU. And yeah, that's just the reality of YouTube sometimes. We, I mean, the GPU is coming back, but you know, I'm not selfish, so I let other people do their content with it as well. So they can have videos of their own too. So yeah, uh, eventually we will get around to thermally testing this and there will be another video maybe in the future. And like I said in the original intro that we shot two and a half weeks ago that you probably saw as well, uh, we weren't actually gonna revisit this case at all because we've just done so much with it, but the questions are there and I have to give you guys as much information as possible. And so without, holding off too much, I gave you as much as I could. And I'm sorry that there wasn't all thermal testing and everything because that NR200 system is part of our monitor testing setup. And as you've seen recently, we've had heaps of monitors to test. So we couldn't really hold that system up any longer. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you like the music you heard here, I make all the music, it's available over on our Patreon. If you wanna get early access to videos just like this one right here, it's available over on Floatplane. Yes, we are on Floatplane. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy, Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And I'm actually feeling pretty bummed that we didn't get to finish this video for you guys because the original like scope of the video would have been really, really interesting. And now it's just like, hey, here you go. Fit a GPU in a case, but I felt guilty as like there is some valuable information and we've never not released a video we've not like completed before and we've never not finished the video so I, I felt like it was like this thing on my shoulder I'm like oh you have this half done video that's got something valuable you should probably put it out just so people can like figure it out and learn something or you're doing a bit of a disservice to everyone who's been waiting for something like this but yeah I hope, hope you guys got something out of this video and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.